Hi everybody, this is a uh, overview of what we're going to do here in week four. So I've put a plan here, and basically what I want to do is sort of make it like, uh, almost like the midterm, but get you up to date, caught up on a PHP review. Now in this curriculum you've been doing JavaScript, PHP, a little databasing, um, HTML, CSS. If you're in the certificate program, you know, it's a little less than what you have in the associates. But we'll be doing object-oriented programming review, model view controller overview, and for some of you this may be the first time you've heard that term. Um, uh, a look at some business cards, um, getting you started in the idea of a style guide, and I've got a couple scripts in there for you to help you out with your portfolio. So um, let's go ahead and hit module number four. So in module number four, uh, it's going to be an assignment which I'll get to in a minute, but there's this week's interview question first. And this is a, a pretty good question. It's about sexy prime numbers. And prime numbers are numbers that differ, prime numbers that differ by six. So if you look at seven and 13, both of these are prime. And prime, if you need to look it up, uh, it just basically means that it can't be divided by anything. So like six can be divided into two and three. Um, seven, you know, the only thing that can be divided by is one. Same with 13, 11, and 17. So you have to find all the pairs of the sexy prime numbers up to 500. So when you see this, it's very similar to other questions. And I'll just give you a little hint. You're going to need to loop to 500 and evaluate if these are prime. So on each number, you're going to evaluate if the number's prime, then you're going to add six and see if that number is prime. And that's actually um, a pretty popular interview question that's in our uh, job seekers database. So um, again, I, I don't require that you answer this, but it, for a lot of you, it'll be fun. Uh, just to see how you measure up. And the idea is how, how your approach is. And honestly, in a lot of these job interviews, they let you use whatever language you want. Now this next section here is how to accept form data. And I have a video on it and some code as well. And basically I'm saying that in your uh, in your condition for submit, you need to find the name of the submit button and then see if the referrer is from where you think it came from. And here you see an HTTP prefix or an HTTPS. Now, please watch the video because I go into it in depth to see uh, uh, how it works. Anyway, that I, I would recommend you go to your any anywhere where you use forms. I don't care if it's open cart. I don't care if it's um, our CMSs that we did in database class. Um, just make sure to take a once over and take a good look. It's a good talking point because if you look at the video and master the content, you can explain why this is the most secure way to handle data. Okay, so that's that. And then I have, this is really fun. This is from Glassdoor. I think you'll like it. I think it'll give you some confidence. So this is entry level and you'll see some of these questions like, you know, what is PHP? There you go. Uh, have you ever used a CMS before? Please go over every single one of your listed projects and tell us in detail what you did. I like this one the best. This is very popular, but all these are really simple and easy. Like this evaluates, you know, just equality, and this evaluates equality and type. So those are good questions, and there's 2,635 uh, of those. So have fun with them. I hope you get uh, some confidence out of it. Um, let me go back to our course. I know it's it's weird that you can't embed some of these things with Canvas. And you have to go to an external area, but all right. So this is my object-oriented PHP, um, either review or overview. Uh, if you know it already, it's it's very simple. But inside this right here, right after the object-oriented PHP, you have the the video. So the link is always a link. When I have WebD in 191 in front of it, it's, it's a video from YouTube that I put together. And next we have a model view controller. This is your code, and this is the video. So um, it's important to understand which are which. <coughs> and you know, I would say 
your job this week is definitely to code your homepage, which you'll see an assignment in a second. But, you know, you want to get these things together so you have something to study before a job interview. Now, I'm going to show you this. This is really kind of fun. These are um, business cards from the first class that ran this. It was an assignment. So I'm going to give you a nice look at this. So I'm going to just check these out. We're going to unzip it. And we're going to go, we can take a look at a few of these. And a lot of the students were using Moo for this. And we go to Moo Business Cards. This is a design interface for you to actually design through here. Um, and I'll show you an example of what they look like. So this is the front and back. I've shown this Frank's work to you before in previous videos. But he's got uh, a pretty nice job. And this is Mexpression, which is Luis Jimenez, who is an outstanding, uh, an older guy, who is an outstanding developer who is targeting um, uh, Latinx companies. So, And this is Zach, who you've seen his work before, too. He used Moo. And this is what he came up with, ZDN.dev. And this is Kevin Chow, who's... Um, quite a good student who developed his um, business card. He only did the front in this, but um, you know, it's a move gives you an opportunity to do front and back, which I like. So I would definitely not neglect the back. If you, it's, it's, uh, it's optional. Of course you can, it's your business card, but when you submit these, uh, I'll give it a review and give it back to you and we'll move forward from there. So um, those are a couple of business cards. And, um, oh, this is quite fun. This is a boss button. And this is using key up to actually do a boss button. And what I got going here is in um, the video. So what is a boss button? Um, have fun with it. It's something you create uh, that when an employer walks behind you, when you're goofing off at work you can click the button real quick and it'll throw up like a spreadsheet or a that makes you look like you're working on some code and i've got a video on how i created that's very simple but um i would definitely play along so this is an example of a boss button um please watch that here's why because those types of portfolio pieces they're very unique they don't look the same you you can design however you want and in this short video it's like maybe four minutes i go through how to design a bot how to code it and give you a demo so as long as you get the notion you can create one yourself and that becomes a portfolio piece that's a portfolio piece you can do in under an hour so if you want to fill up your code pens or your githubs you can do something like that now the week for assignments um this is this week you're to finalize your homepage is 20 points so please connect with me regarding Google Hangout. I'm going to give you five points if you have a 15-minute meeting to me where we go over the assets together. That means that um, you just email me and say, Chris, I'm available here, here, and here. Um, then we can kind of go through it together because it'll be the first time we're actually going to talk. And at this point, I'm seeing a wide variety of you um, of, of skills, and I want to make sure we have a one one-on-one. -on -one. It can be any time. Just email me, and I'll give you a time when I'm available. And it doesn't have to be, you know, it can be later on. It can be earlier. Whatever is good for you guys. So basically, you, you finalize your homepage. Basically, that means you code it, okay? I want to see a coded homepage. And if that's in a WordPress, you can just send me the link. If it's HTML5 template, send me the link. It's all good. I don't, I don't, I don't mind. Um, but the idea is to get this homepage done so that we can know your style, I can give you feedback on it, and then week five we can start doing the subpages and getting the content ready. Because believe it or not, there's only um, a few weeks left, which is um, kind of frightening. There's actually five weeks because you know, you've got week four through eight. So, but if you connect with me regarding a Google Hangout via my email, I will give you five points. And Hangout's pretty easy if you don't know what it is. You and I will just meet online and um it's not a big deal it may not even take 15 minutes what i'll do is i'll go through your week three homework and we'll just connect 
and 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 see how it's going and see what I can do to help you further because we are losing that on ground um, capability of us talking together and you can ask me questions about the portfolio show because all of you will be invited you will all have uh, a table it's going to be right now it looks like it's gonna be the last week in April probably on a Thursday night so if you want to know who's coming or anything like that we can talk about it okay so that's your homework have a great week, everybody.